Some hope in the fight against SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. Researchers say they may have discovered what could be a way to detect SIDS early. Team 12's Nyala Charles is looking into the findings and how they could help avoid the heartbreaking loss of a baby. Sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS, is a devastating disease. Just ask Dr. Gary Kirkulis, a Phoenix Children's Hospital pediatrician who has seen it firsthand. You know, every year we have many, many children that um, unfortunately passed as a result of SIDS. SIDS is the sudden and unexpected death of a baby less than one year old, where the cause of death was not obvious before investigation. Many times these children are, are previously he uh, healthy children, so it does come at quite a big surprise. According to the March of Dimes in Arizona, on average, more than 3% of infants died of SIDS between 2017 and 2019. You know, any time a child dies, it's especially sad, but especially so when it's an infant. There is no treatment or cure. Also, no way to detect early until possibly now. It'll be very interesting to, to see if there's any sort of genetic um, component to this. A new study by an Australian researcher claims to find an enzyme that may be a SIDS indicator. The sample size was relatively small, but if more research confirms this, it could be a huge breakthrough for SIDS and the families affected by it. But until that happens... You know, I think the evidence is really... Um, showing that prevention really is the best method. Pediatricians urge parents to utilize safe sleeping practices that have been proven to prevent the disease. When a parent's sleeping and perhaps the infant gets stuck underneath the arm and while the parent is sleeping, they have no idea uh, that the infant is suffocating. Other tips include placing babies on their back in an empty crib so they have plenty of space to breathe. Eventually, the hope is that with more research, like the Australian study, we can one day find the cure. Ayla Charles, 12 News.